So in this segment I'm going to show you how to design a wedding book and we will be designing our spreads uh, one at a time. Uh, first let's set up uh, Photoshop so we go into preferences and I'm going to set up a page folder where I want my spreads to be stored. Uh, it's going to be in here, new folder, ENT there and save. If you noticed I already have the default setting for the template folder I'm going to use square templates but if you have something else there for some reason then you need to change it to your square templates folder. I'm also using the universal size which is the most general thing to do because then I can downsize my book spreads to some other square uh, format. I'm <coughs> purposely doing my book spreads too large so I don't have to uppress my book spreads later. Right, so it's set up now for a square book. We set up the page folder and we're using square templates. So let's look at the photos. Um, the very first spread I'm going to do last because that's going to be a special case with my company logo and all. So let's go to the second spread. And I'm going to use some pictures of the groom here. So I'm going to select these three in bridge, right click, and choose add images to book spread. This is going to give me suggestions for matching templates. And these are hopefully, if you have, um, unless you've chosen just one vertical, there won't be a matching template because uh, that's going to be difficult to put on a spread. So. But normally you would have some perfect matches and some okay matches. If you don't have <clears throat> any matches at all, you would have to re reselect some photos, take one out or add something. Try again. Okay, so these perfect matches, they um, contain holes that match the orientation of the photos that I selected. So we got one vertical, two horizontals here, or we got another perfect match which is Incidentally, just the mirror image of this first one. Uh, the OK match just contains some square holes and they can accept a vertical or horizontal photo with some cropping, of course. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go with this first template and it's going to open it up. And it's going to drop the photos into these holes. Right. So, let me turn off the guidelines here for a second. And I'm actually quite happy with the uh, uh, the placing of the photos here. So I'm just going to choose a black background. And then I'm going to add a white border. I do that by clicking on the first one. Shift clicking on the other two. You can see in the layers palette now they're all selected. And then I click on the white border. If I want... <clears throat> another thickness of the border I can change it here with border width but um, that's fine so I'm just gonna save the spread and call it spread 02 and that's gonna save a Photoshop file that you can use to uh, edit the book spread later and it's gonna save a JPEG file a flat JPEG file that you will use when you order the book through Spreadbook. Right, so in the next photo I'm going to have some pictures of the lovely bride and I'm going to go with these five. Let's see if there's a template for that. Um, right, I think I'm going to go with this one. Again, I'm just going to turn off the guidelines and set a black background. And uh, now I'm going to swap some photos. I'd want, um, <clears throat> let's see, I think I'd like this one and this one swapped. So I click on, I select those two and then I click on swap. And 
actually I think that I want a color photo on the right and let's see this these two pictures I'll swap <clears throat> And, and let's swap these two. Right, I think that's the right chronological order. So now I'm just going to add some white borders. <coughs> there we go. And I'll save that spread as number then I'll go back to bridge and my next spread I'm just going to use this photo all across the whole spread so <clears throat> this first template here would give me a white border around it I, d I just want uh, the whole spread so what happens now is this photo of course has different aspect ratio than the book itself so <clears throat> I'm actually going to shrink the photo move it over here so that her face is is not crossing the gutter and then I'll use a little trick I'll uh, select with the marquee tool uh, the segment here of the wall like that I'll press command J Control J on a PC and Command T, Control T on a PC, and I'll just stretch this part of the wall like this and <clears throat> save the spread like that. Okay, it's telling me now this image doesn't quite cover the hole. Would you like to proceed? Uh, well, <clears throat> it's telling me that because the underlying photo, before we stretch it, doesn't quite cover the hole of course because we added something on top of that but in this case it's fine to proceed and I call that <coughs> spread 4 while it's saving that I'm gonna go back to bridge and on the next spread we'll have the bride meeting the groom for the first time so I'm gonna select these four photos here <clears throat> and I want the second photo I want that on a page by itself so I'm gonna go with this template here I think these photos on the right here, they're not in the right order, so I'll select the bottom one and the top one, press swap. <coughs> now they're in the right chronological order, and I'm just going to go to my black background, add my white border. And we're done with that spread. This is spread 5. <clears throat> Back to bridge and my next spread will consist of these two photos. And that's a simple choice there. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to swap these two. I want the dipping shot on the right. And this photo here, I like to enlarge that a little bit. Um, when I press enlarge, it just enlarges the photo within the hole. And then you can move it around, of course, in the hole. And Let's set my black background, white border, and save this spread, which is number 
six. While it's saving that, I'm gonna go to my next spread. I'm gonna use this photo as a full, full spread. So I'll pick this spread. Uh, sorry, template again. And we're gonna have this problem again with the uh, <clears throat> difference in aspect ratio. So I'm gonna shrink this photo, move it over there. I'll select a bit of the background here with the marquee tool. Press press uh, Command J, Command T, and stretch it out like that, and save the spread. Okay, I get this this warning again. I like to proceed and spread number seven. <clears throat> While it's saving that, move on to the next spread. And these will be the photos before the actual ceremony. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can find a template for those four photos. Okay, what I have in mind, I think the kissing by the car. The horizontal one will be nice there. So I'm going to go without that template. <clears throat> right. Um, I think it looks pretty good. But I actually, I think I'd wanted these two to be underneath. So I'm going to close this one without saving. Go back to bridge. Ask for those suggestions again, and then go with this template instead. So it's rather easy to, uh, if you want to change your mind about a template, you just close it and go back and ask for those suggestions again. <clears throat> okay, uh, that looks pretty good. Black background, select these four and add the white border. There's nothing essential here crossing the gutter. So I'm going to save this spread as number 8. And go back to bridge. Now it's time for the ceremony. I'm going to try to squeeze in quite a lot of photos in here. I think not that many, but walking into the church and the exchange of the rings. So there will be, yeah, let's see if there's a template for this. <clears throat> yes, there are quite a lot of templates. Um, let's see, these could be interesting. Maybe that one. I'm going to go... I think I'll go with that one. So most of the time you'll just be swapping photos, enlarging them, adding borders, change the background color, and that that should be it, really. Right, so I can see here this photo and this photo. I'll swap them. <clears throat> and Walking into the church, I think this photo and this photo needs to be swapped. <clears throat> Trying to remember the order of events that day. And of course, these two are out of order. And the kiss is the last thing to happen. Okay, so that should be fine. Black background. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos. Oops, I accidentally moved them, so I'll just go back to in the history list. Uh, 
a quicker way to select if I turn off the guides if you want to select them all you can just drag around here and that will select them all and then add a white border and then this will be number <clears throat> spread number nine the last spread I want to try to include all of these photos okay um, well I want them coming out of the church should be let's see might have to go to one of these okay matches uh, Let's see, possibly this one, I think. It's, it's a matter of experience trying to see roughly where where the photos can go and don't be afraid of experimenting. I mean, if the uh, suggested template doesn't work quite as well, then you just go back and, and choose another template or you can design your own templates, which we'll show in another video. Right, so obviously these first two photos we need to swap because you need to walk out of the church before you have rice thrown on you. And I'm going to have that one and that one, these two photos swapped. Right, and then there's, let me zoom in here. There's this group photo here that I'm going to move up a little bit. And if you notice here, there's a little black gap here. You can see the uh, template hole behind. <clears throat> if you just press drop, problem design, it will realign the, the photo in that hole. So uh, these last two photos, they look pretty good. They're about the same size and height there. Okay, so I think we're fine there. Just add black background. And our white border. And this will be spread number <coughs> 10, I should put. Uh, yes, number 10. Still haven't done the first spread, so. For the first spread, I'm going to use. <coughs> we normally use like a cover album we're designing. Uh, they won't be a cover to print on, but the first, very first bed, uh, I would like to have a picture of the bride and groom with the uh, with their names and the name of the church. So <clears throat> I'm going to go into preferences and choose another template folder. Sorry, my templates. And save. And now when I go into bridge, pick this photo. And I will just get one suggestion because there's only one template in there that holds one vertical photo. Um, this is something I designed for our company. So it's got a um, just one hole for the uh, bride and groom. And then here are already written um, in the font that we usually have. Um, the name of the bride and uh, the church, so I'm going to go in here and write their names and the church. Okay, let's fake it like that. And okay, and then I'll save that spread as number zero one and that's it and in a later segment I'll show you how to upload these spreads to uh, album proofing so you can order the book okay see you in the next segment